Welcome to the uh, shortwave radio channel. And here I'm um, tracking the International Space Station, as you see here, with uh, software called Orbitron. Um, you can go to a website like Heavens Above to uh, find it. Also, there's several websites actually that let you track um, satellites, and including the uh, ISS. So now that the SSTV event is gone, is there anything else the ISS you can hear? Well, if you're lucky, yeah, you can hear the astronauts sometimes, maybe have communications. But you got to be lucky. Uh, you also have the uh, astronauts that will have a, uh, you know, sometimes some school communications. Uh, that also, you got to be lucky that it happens as a school that's near you when it's happening. But where you might not have to be very lucky is the repeater on board the ISS. So the International Space Station has a repeater that's on uh, the downlink, which is a frequency you listen to. It's 437.800. The uplink is 145.990 in the two meter band. So amateur radio operators can make contacts with basically a repeater in the sky. So uh, that's what we're going to try to hear. I don't know if we'll get it on uh, this setup. So once again, this is my network uh, SDR, which is the NRSBSD. It's a radio. It's a software-defined radio. It's set up in my kitchen, actually, and has access to my outdoor uh, VHF, UHF wideband antenna. And this, of course, makes me um, tune, and it's connected through Wi-Fi so that I can access the radio at a distance because my VHF UHF antenna is in the backyard. So as you see here, the satellite is slowly coming towards Montreal. I'm tuned to 437-800. Of course, with there's Doppler shift, so often you tune a little higher to uh, see what you can hear. And as of now, I'm just looking and I don't see any trace of anything. Um, I'm not sure how good it's going to be received here because it's a mobile vertical in the backyard. So I don't have a directional antenna to hear it. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, it's starting to happen here. I just saw a little peek. And let's see if we can hear any uh, amateur uh, stations making contact. Uh, as the uh, International Space Station is getting closer, it's going to pass to the north of Montreal. So let's check it out. Fox 
It's uh, now reached over the ocean, and it's probably getting a little too far to make any clear contacts for me. Uh, we see that there's a little bit happening. but uh, So these were amateur stations. There was a Victor Echo 2 station from uh, here in southern Quebec. There was a Victor Echo 3 in Ontario. Uh, we had a couple of U.S. stations on November 1, I believe, and another one, which was, I think, November 2. So these are stations that are equipped with uh, what it needs what you need to do contacts now i've seen people make contacts with little handhelds i tried with mine but um was not able i think the best that i would need is a directional antenna that's something that i should get uh to maybe make my first contact over the international space station so uh this was a little example and received with my own radio here in montreal the uh, NRSBST, the network uh, SDR. If you have a scanner radio, you can hear this. But what you do is you go outside and you punch in 437.800 and you wait and you, of course, need to know when it, uh, the Inter International Space Station will pass over your area. And uh, you will be able to hear this on the scanner radio. Um, quite easily, actually, uh, just like the slow scan TV pictures that have been sent. It's just that now we're in the UHF range for 37.800. Hope you enjoyed the video.